Hi. I think everybody's going to find this next book pretty interesting. I don't know if you can see it very well or not. Um, Report from Iron Mountain. Okay. This is an interesting book. Actually, this copy was a, a library copy that was withdrawn. It was from the Perth and Kinross County Library. And this came out of the UK. I guess I didn't find a copy in the United States. This is a, a copy that was printed also in the, United, in the uh, UK. All right, Iron Mountain. Report from Iron Mountain on the possibility and desirability of peace with introductory material by Leonard C. Lewin. And reading from the inside flap, it says, Report from Iron Mountain on the possibility and desirability of peace is causing as much controversy as George Orwell's 1984, both because of its thesis that war is a sociological stabilizing force for which it would be very difficult to find a satisfactory substitute, and because of the claim that it was prepared under the highest governmental auspices by the special study group of 15 men of distinction in academic and other fields. And that was a blurb by Sunday Telegraph. And then it says, it is a pre-publication sensation. No wonder Iron Mountain purports to be a high level, once secret government study of war and peace. Its chilling conclusion is that Continuation of war is indispensable to the stability of our society and possibly even to its survival. Who is John Doe? John Kenneth Galbraith? And that was written by the Wall Street Journal. The next blurb says, Harvard professor John Kenneth Galbraith has read Lewin's book, will write about it, and urged me to buy it as soon as possible. It has already been perused at the State Department, where an official read a prepared statement disclaiming knowledge of any such study group, called the conclusions extraordinary, and then added more informally, if it's a spoof, it's a very clever spoof. And it looks as if some quite knowledgeable people are involved. And that was said by Jeremy Campbell of the Evening Standard. Okay, on the back, it says, Report from Iron Mountain purports to be a secret think tank report prepared between 1963 and 1966 for an anonymous high-level interagency government committee by an interdisciplinary civilian special study group, also anonymous, on the implications of world peace for future stability of American society with recommendations to maximize present and future government policy options. The report was supposedly delivered to Leonard C. Lewin by John Doe, one of the 15 members of the special study group in an act of conscience. The report's findings are, he is said to have said, so revolutionary and far-reaching that they should be made available for public discussion. It is, of course, a hoax. But what a hoax. A parody so elaborate and ingenious and, in fact, so substantially original, acute, interesting, and horrifying that it will receive serious attention regardless of its origin. No one has yet admitted its true origin, and my calling it a hoax must be taken as pure assertion, though it is based, I think, on clear and ample internal evidence. It is a telling and oddly lucid outline of some important theoretical problems of peace and war that have rarely been admitted to in public or in private, and that was said by the New York Times. So that's going to be our next book, and I'll pick up um, in the next video on this. I don't know if you can see that. It's awfully white. It'll adjust in a moment. There it goes. Report from Iron Mountain. Very controversial book. So tune in for the next video and we'll attack this book.